It's a sobering prognosis. Dr. Maria Espinola says one out of six adults will experience depression. Depression is a very serious disorder. A disorder that Tim Askins and others think can be treated, at least in part, with marijuana. I mean, I can't believe it hasn't been, you know, looked at for years. Askins says he speaks from personal experience. That I smoked marijuana for quite a few years. I haven't touched it in a while, but I know that it definitely helps. But Espinola cautions against assuming cannabis can be a cure-all. I support the idea of conducting research on it. I think it's really important, uh, but we don't have enough evidence to support the use of uh, marijuana for depression at this moment. I think it's very important to um, t receive the treatments that we know for a fact work. She says those treatments include therapy and medication or a combination of the two. Espinola knows members of Ohio's medical board are considering adding depression along with insomnia, anxiety, opioid use and autism to the list of conditions that can be treated with cannabis. When it comes to depression, Espinola believes years of research are necessary to see if marijuana can be another option in a doctor's medicine bag. If they were to show that marijuana is somehow more effective than what we already have, uh, then it would be a different story, right? But we don't have that just yet. Now, tomorrow, an advisory committee in Columbus will vote on those five conditions that have been under consideration since January. If the committee recommends that at least one of those be approved, then there would be a final vote by the full board on June 12th. Reporting live, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.